Thanks for joining me for session one of the Building Standards series of presentations. Session one is entitled, Why Bother? In this session, I'll give you five reasons why you should care about building standards. Here's reason number one. Here's a chart from AEC Bytes magazine that shows the productivity of the construction industry in red compared to the productivity of all other non-farm industries in blue. And as you can see, the construction industry has an abysmal productivity record. In fact, the productivity of our industry is less than it was in 1964. Now, if you think about the amount of time and money that's spent in software and research and training, you can see that this is having no impact whatsoever on our ability to get more out of each unit of labor that we work. This is the reason why we need to think about building standards, because the way we're doing work today simply is not helping us achieve any productivity increases whatsoever. Reason number two. Reason number two has to do with the expectations that we have on tools. We think that, and I'm, I'm no different than anybody else in this regard, I think that the next app that I download or the next piece of software I, I get is really going to help me do my job in a better way and that I'm only going to need this one tool to fix my problem. So the second reason to care about building standards is that there are more and they will always need to be more than one tool required for you to get your work done. To just give you an illustration of this, let me ask you to consider the number of different kinds of hammers that you might have at home in your toolbox. There's lots of different kinds of hammers you may have in your toolbox or around your house or in places you go visit. You certainly wouldn't want a jackhammer to be used on your knee. You'd want the doctor's hammer to test your reflexes. It's very important that we apply the right tool for the right job. So thinking that we can buy one piece of software or one new hardware device and solve our interoperability problems is not the right way to think about the problem because it doesn't work anywhere else. The only way to get these things to work together is to have standards. So here's the third reason why you should care about open standards. The reason why you should care is that the amount of time it takes for the technology we use to degrade greatly exceeds the life of our buildings and without the ability of us to get information from one generation of technology to the next we will lose all of the information we have. All you have to do is go look at any facility office and you're going to see multiple generations of technology there. And when we had linen and mylar those are still good but back in the days of this size of floppy disk that information cannot even be read anymore. There's no software to operate that and computers that make it work. So those CAD files stored on that kind of format, it's actually worse off than if we had had paper and mylar. All you really have to do in thinking about technology is remember that all technology fails. And what we're interested in here is the information about our building moving between the different versions of the technology so that our information can go along with the buildings that we build.